My friend and I are at the visitor center of Zion National Park, Utah. It's fall in 2018. We are traveling from LA to the Grand Canyon. It's my pre-birthday celebration trip. And my friend picked a location and did all the research. Why the Grand Canyon? Because it's much easier to go to nature than Vegas if you have dogs. <laughs> I don't. My friend does. She has two pit bulls. <laughs> it's early afternoon, and we are starving. While my, friend is taking, while my friend is taking her dogs to the party, I stop at the information desk. Excuse me, are there any restaurants around here? Yes, the guy responds. Dead silence. I waited for an extra few more seconds, waiting for the follow-up information. But no, the conversation ended there. <laughs> the guy in his late 20s with dark hair and dark eyes. Unlike people I met at other visitor centers, he doesn't have a friendly smile. But he wasn't rude. He just didn't care to offer helpful information. I know his game. It's an I tell you only what, I, what you ask me game. Computers play that game too. <laughs> I'm a programmer. Computers do only what I ask. Nothing more, nothing less. To verify my point, I ask the follow-up question. Where can I find them? In Springdale. See, he doesn't even bother where Springdale is or how to get there. Now, I have one more question to ask, and I need to step up my game. <laughs> Look, I have these beautiful Grand Canyon postcards. I want to mail them to Los Angeles. I know. Who wants postcards nowadays, right? My friends do. They want to put them on the fridge. Is there a mailbox here? If yes, where can I find it? <laughs> Next to the weeping rock. Huh. I know where it is, but that's an interesting place to put a mailbox, I thought. Weeping rock is in the middle of the mountain. I thought a mailbox would be somewhere convenient, like the visitor center. <laughs> but what do I know? I'm from Japan. People must love to make an effort to mail postcards in America. <laughs> While my friend and I are having lunch in Springdale, I tell her about the mailbox. She screeched. What? At the Weeping Rock? That's crazy. Mio, did you know that you can't drive there? You have to take a shuttle bus, which you can take in front of the visitor center. But because the bus is the only way to get to the mountain, the line for the bus can be long. Sometimes it takes hours just to get on the bus. Now, it's time for me to screech. What? <laughs> Hours? That's preposterous. But if the mailbox is at the Weeping Rock, that's where I'm going. <laughs> Today is the last day in the Grand Canyon, and I need to mail them today. OK, Mio, you need to get there alone, because I can't get on the bus with my dogs. Let's meet here again at 3 o'clock. We need to go to the camping site before it gets dark. Otherwise, we'll get lost. After the sun sets, it'll be pitch black here. So we part away, and I go to the bus stop. The waiting line for the bus isn't too bad. It takes only about 30 minutes <laughs> to get on the bus and another 15 minutes to the destination. When I get, get off the bus, I see nothing but nature. 
But a mailbox can be disguised like a tree. <laughs> like Starbucks and McDonald's change their designs to blend in the environment. <laughs> so I look around, but I don't see it. Now I start wondering. He said, next to the weeping rock. Does it mean a mailbox is next to the actual weeping rock? Is a mailbox disguised as a rock? <laughs> if that's the case, that's where I'm going. People must really, really love to make an effort to mail postcards in America. The hike is short, but steep. The mail delivery people must be in good shape. <laughs> it takes another 15 minutes to get to the destination. Weeping Rock is a large bowl-shaped alcove. The dozens of tiny caskets of water are drizzling from the overhanging cliff. I, under I stand underneath the rock and look at the valley and the canyon through the veil of water. Each drop has a reflection of the sun, creating a rainbow inside, tinkling. The scenery is breathtaking. Scenery, scenery. <laughs> Where is the damn mailbox? <laughs> I'm a problem solver. How can I crack this, this stupid code? What does next mean? Where is next? What is next? Does it mean the next bus stop? No, that's a big stretch. This is the kingdom of drive through <laughs> Nobody in the world, let alone in America, makes this much effort to mail postcards in. <laughs> it's been almost two hours by now. Time is ticking. I only have 30 minutes to solve this problem. Otherwise, I have to hand the postcards over to my friends in LA. I need to go back to square one. I take a shuttle bus to the visitor center. I'm the only one who makes this effort to mail postcards. And this time, I go to the bookstore instead of the, visitor, uh, in, instead of the information desk, which is also in the visitor center. Excuse me, I have postcards. They are already stamped. Is there a mailbox here? If yes. Where can I find it? <laughs> A clerk smiled. Yes, there is. <laughs> Do you see the door over there? Just take that exit. You can find a black mailbox on the wall on your right. When I take the exit, I see the information desk across from the bookstore. And between the bookstore and the information desk, there it is, a nine by six black inch black box, black mailbox on the wall, a couple of feet away from the information desk. I didn't need to take the shuttle bus or the hike. It's right there the whole time. I give a dirty look to the information desk, <laughs> but the guy wasn't there. I stand in front of the mailbox. I wonder if it's functioning because it's a traditional home mailbox. To have a better look, I take one step back. Then next to the mailbox, I see a Weeping Rocks poster. <laughs> a poster. Again, technically, he gave me the right answer. <laughs> but a poster! I don't know how to win this game. Thank you. Mio Yamauchi, ladies and gentlemen. Mio.